Hey, Heinz. Okay, it is Wednesday. Hump day. Oh, and praise you, Jesus. Big Mama can stay home. <laughs> I'm just saying. Happy Halloween. And I don't know. Oh, she went out there. We, I had the windows open. Ted Bod wanted to look out. And it's actually cool enough this morning that we can pop them open. Just to kind of get some fresh air, you know, that fresh air. Um, by this afternoon, trust me, they gonna be closed and the air's gonna be running. I'm just like, yeah, Halloween. Happy Halloween. Don't mind my air conditioner running. <laughs> Anywho, um, I don't know if y'all had seen the video where the squirrels were on our front porch eating the cat food. And we were wondering why we were going through so much dead burn cat food. Honey, them squirrels, we had four of them. No wonder the cats won't go out there and eat. We were wondering why we had to keep luring them to the front porch to show them their bowls. It's because them squirrels were attacking them. <laughs> so, Carol Beth is getting their bowls as we speak. Cheetahbot was having a hissy. He loved watching those squirrels. And the thing was... The squirrels didn't care him being there. They were like, we'll come get you too. <laughs> so, I told her to take those bowls. I don't know if y'all have ever seen that table um, on our carport in front of what, like, where I parked my car. <clears throat> Excuse me. It and the armoire we have had for sale for I do not know how long. And we ain't sold them yet. So, when we get ready to have our yard sale, which doesn't look like no time soon. <laughs> oh, um, I told her, I said, just feed the cats on that table. Because I don't think the squirrels will run around that way. Then again, once they find that cat food, they'll go around that way. But any hazels. Um, our day today is just stay home. I started to write out a to-do list. And I haven't gotten to it yet. Yeah, I haven't gotten to do my to-do list. <laughs> um, I've gotten dressed. I've taken my meds. I've done my hair. This is reality. I have not made my bed yet. So it, this is the state of my bed. This is that laundry pile that you saw yesterday. Yeah, this is it. It is all clean now. <laughs> It is all clean. It just needs to be folded and put away. Just saying. Um, oh, the other day at Walmart. If y'all have never tried their Time and True. I don't know if I can get that. This is not sponsored. Wish you it was. Walmart send Big Mama a gift card. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, the Time and True brand. They're dollar sixty-eight camis. I kid you not. If usually you'll see me in video, especially if I'm here just at home. I love their camis. Big Mama has big ones, and so it drives me. Yeah, see, I gotta lift that one up. It drives me crazy. I'll I'll wear a cami under every shirt I wear. I've got a cami on under. Got a bra and I got a cami. I'm just saying. Biggins need to take care of it. Don't, yeah. Raise your arms, bend, I touch your toes. If anything shows, go change your clothes. Okay? My grandmother said with large cleavage comes a greater responsibility. <laughs> Anywho, their camis are wonderful. And because they're only a dollar sixty-eight, you can afford to go and kind of like refresh and or rechange your wardrobe. White gets dirty so fast. I can't keep nothing white, and so that is when I have learned the the glorious color of gray. Yes, ma'am. I'm a gray girl now. If you haven't noticed, like my favorite t-shirt tank dress thing, gray. Um, I've got another one that I got from the Costco. Gray. Isn't that right, baby girl? Uh-huh. Gray. But I, I needed a new black one. The other day I was looking for my black one. And I know I had one. 
can't find that thing to save my life. So for $1.68, Big Mama got a black one. And they had all the new fall colors out. So I got like the burgundy kind of red or red. I got the olive army green. And then I got the brown one on. I don't know if you can. Ooh, yeah, see. I got the brown one on that I've got on now. Yeah. Somebody asked the question, how do I get aprons that would fit like all the way across? As you can see, <laughs> this one does not go all the way across. But what you can do is choke up on your apron. Yeah. Make the top kind of tighter. I mean, don't choke yourself. But bring it up tighter. Um, and that way the bigger part of the bib is covering you. But, uh, yeah, my Amish apron that my friend made me, it does wonderful. This is one of my flirty aprons. And y'all, they had their fall fire set. See, I just choked up on it and now it... I mean, technically, here is the waist. Do you see where the waist is? Yeah. But that's all right. Um, anywho, this is a flirty apron. And you see their aprons are like $25, $30. They had a fall fire sale, y'all. $4.95. Yeah. So, I got some for me and then some to use as Christmas gifts. So, but anyhow, I got to tackle this mess, fold some laundry. Tonight is sloppy joe night because we're going to get ready for them trick-or-treaters. I got to get out and put the um, glow sticks up in the witch's hats. That way, tonight, all we got to do is pop them and shake them. Yeah. So that's going to probably take me a while of trying to figure out. We've been trying to figure out how I'm going to rig that up. But I think with um, a needle and that fishing line, I can figure out how to get it up in there. Yeah, it'll work. So let me get this tackled and I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I figured. Ugh. Oh, big mama got to get up here. <laughs> I figure we could do a little laundry chat while I fold some clothes. I can sit here and just run my mouth. Get my pie hole to go in. And y'all know me. I am so sorry for long videos. But, yeah. Once you get all this talking. <laughs> Anyhow, the question I posed yesterday, do y'all have harmony? And I want to thank everybody that responded. Um, Skeleton Cat, hi Lynn, hi Hoyn. Um, she's in Pennsylvania, and she said they used to have it at the food line, but they closed, but you can get it at the Cracker Barrel. Hey, I didn't know y'all had Cracker Barrels up there. I know when we went up, when I had to go to Johns Hopkins, we had gone into, but we didn't see a lot of Cracker Barrels up north from like, I don't know, North Carolina on... We really and truly didn't see. Now, honey, <clears throat> I'd pull the car over for our cheddars. I'm just saying. So we don't have that down here. Um, we had wound up in Bristol, Virginia. Because it was like the Geico commercial. <laughs> Bristol, Virginia or Bristol, Tennessee. I might have told that story. About the onion rings. Oh, my stars, y'all. If you've never been to a cheddars and you have a chance to go to one, Pop in. I kid you not. Pop in. Get you some onion rings. I kid you not. It's a tower of them. How they get them to stack. And they aren't skewered together. They're just together. It's like playing Jenga. If you pull the wrong <laughs> If you pull the wrong one, it coming down. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Anyhow, um, a lot of y'all had never heard of Koneka Sausage. Um, let's see. Sherry. Hey, hon. Um, 
She's in Mississippi and then the Louisiana at the Piggly Wiggly, y'all. Honey, you've got to love the pig. Piggly Wigglies, I think, are only in the South. I mean, like the true South. Now, I don't consider... Some people consider Texas part of the South. No, no. You ask a true Southerner, Texas is not part of the South. Texas is West. They're Western. I'm just saying. Arizona, Western. Yeah, anything... How would that be? North, South, East. Anything wet. <laughs> I'm trying to do my... Anything west of the Mississippi River. <laughs> um, other than Louisiana. Now, well, now, to me, Louisiana is more... They're kind of like a, a thing all their own, too. I don't consider... We don't consider Florida part of the South. I'm just saying. Honestly, you ask somebody from Alabama if Florida is part of the South, and they are going to tell you no. Florida is kind of all on its own. They're coastal. They are coastal. That's a whole different... That's a whole different breed right there. They are coastal. I guess because a lot of them aren't true. They're more transplants. <laughs> that's what we call somebody that's in the South that wasn't from the South. You would transplant. And because they have like the snowbirds and... Um, yeah, they have more transplants. Anyway, back to our Harmony Connecticut question. Um, hey, Joyce. Hey, hon. Um, Yeah, me and Joyce were talking. I could not tell the difference, honestly, between yellow and white Harmony. I, there's no. She said she couldn't either. Could not tell the difference. And I, mm -mm. And we, were talk, we got to talking about uh, mothers. And so, Joyce, I hate to hear that... We had the same, yeah, um, yeah, I finally just had to learn. It was just best for me and my family if we just kind of distanced ourselves, like literally. Cut ties, I guess you would say. And our family dynamic has been so much better. I hate to say that. Um, and I know I'll probably get a lot of flack from that of you're supposed to honor your father and mother. I've heard that before from people, but even people at our church that you would think that would say that, that no, my mother, they completely understand. We've got a, a sweet, sweet, good, faithful Christian woman that I think the world of, I will seek her advice. In a heartbeat about matters. Especially since I don't have my grandmother now to ask her. I will go and I will ask this church lady. And uh, every once in a while she'll ask about how's your mother. And I can honestly tell her. And she finally one day made the comment to me. Um, when I you know, had told her I said we just kind of cut ties, and I know you're probably going to give me this feel about honoring your father and mother, no matter what. And she grabbed my hand, and she gave me a good hug, and she's like, no. She said, I know, I know your mama, and I completely understand, and you have done the best thing that you possibly could. Um, and that just made me feel so much better. Um, she said, you know, that uh, she explained it somehow. <clears throat> excuse me, basically that God understood, and yes, we are supposed to be forgiving of others, but that doesn't mean that in our hearts we can forget. Um, those scars are still there. Of uh, We can forgive, but it is awfully hard to forget and mend those scars. So, anywho, how did I get from Harmony and Connecticut back to my mama? Lord have mercy, Jesus. We getting off that subject. Anywho, um, I'm trying to look back at the comments. 
Hi, Monica. Hi, hon. Um, and Teresa. Um, yes. Hey, girl. Honey, you like me. It's going to be hot. And then, excuse me, then cool off. We're supposed to have a big storm come through tomorrow. And then, hopefully, a couple of days of fall weather. And then we're going to turn back hot, y'all. So, you never know. Like I said, I got those camis. And then, one day, you might need a sweater over it. And the other day, you're just in the cami. Here it is, Halloween. And I'm in just a cami and an apron. And I'm about to burn up. I do have the windows open. Air. The air will be turned back out today. I'm just saying. I just turned the... I didn't turn the... I opened the windows when I noticed the squirrels out there. And I figured Tita Bog would get a kick out of that. Anywho. I'm doing more talking than I am folding. But what you gonna do? But yeah. Um, I'm reading the comments. Teresa is from Virginia. And she has heard of harmony and i love the phrase gone a country mile honey you can talk as long as the country mile all you want and i would put one of our little sayings let's see hey hi girlfriend you want to tell everybody hey come this way make sure you can see yourself hi there you go that's what are is you, are you doing laundry i am completely done all i gotta do is fold Girl, right. look, as far as your eyes can see, is laundry that needs to be folded. Okay. I'm going to get started with mine before there you go. it gets hogged. Well, ain't nobody here to hog it. <laughs> so you go ahead and you go do your laundry, girlfriend. Right. Sweet yeah. baby girl knows how to do her own laundry. Again, that's why I said I buy the laundry pods. To me, it is just so worth the extra little bit of money. And really and truly, because using the pods, I don't buy a lot of fabric softener. I don't do stain remover. I use it either trying to get the pods with that in there. Right now we're using all with stain lifter. They smell good. Yeah, they smell good. It seems to get any of the major stains out. I mean, if it's something really funky. Um... You okay, baby girl? Yeah. Look at my load. Oh, yep. Yeah, she's got a full basket, y'all. Mama had two full baskets. You want Mama mm -hmm. to show them? Okay. Look, wait. Mama can do this. Baby girl wants to show y'all. Uh-oh. We'll come back up. Show y'all her bat. Look at that basket of clothes. She got her hand work cut out for you, don't you, baby girl? Yep. Yep. All right. Going to the laundry. I know that's heavy. You might need to drag it. Can you tote it? Yeah. Work this can count as my workout for the day. That can count as your workout for the day. It sure can, sweet girl. It sure can. Sweet baby. Um, she is. She's my sweet one, y'all. Them other two heathens. Oh, I'm getting... We're just going to start stacking. Anywho, um, and see a lot of my clothes, I don't even bother folding underwear. I don't fold. I just shove in there. Bras, I don't fold. I just shove in there. But if you look at this hot mess of t-shirts, I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, it is camis, it is t-shirts. <sighs> It's long sleeve shirts, it's camis, it's a little bit of everything. There's t-shirts. It is a hot mess. And I need to go through it. I haven't even added my new ones to the drawer. I'm not going to. I'm not going to until I clean it out. But, like I said, there ain't no point in cleaning it out. Because we're still going summer, winter, summer, winter, summer, winter. I'm trying to, I'm going to have to stand up to fold. Um, pajamas, I don't fold. I just shove in there. Now, I'll fold all of Bo's clothes. I, the, the only clothes that I do, family-wise, mine and his, our towels, and then the hall bathroom towels sometimes. 
usually baby girl, if she cleans, and she made the comment today, I had to wash her hair. So, when she got up this morning, after her breakfast, we got her bath, got her, got her bath, and um, she made the comment, she was sorry that she hasn't cleaned the bathroom this week. And I'm like, that's okay, baby girl. Didn't I care about mm -hmm. We talked about cleaning the bathroom. And I told you it was okay that you hadn't cleaned it yet. We'll get to it, huh? Probably this afternoon. Yeah. But usually whenever she cleans that bathroom, either she or I will tackle the um, hall towels. I should make them other heathens do it. Mama's little juju shorts she got at the Sam's Club. Oh, Lord. I, yeah, mm, Mama can't wear them out of the house. You know what I'm saying, y'all? I can't even wear them on camera. I thought about just getting rid of them, but they are quite comfy. <laughs> They're very soft, but yeah. Um, we're doing a laundry chat. I can fold my laundry and run my pie hole all at the same time. Later, we gotta go hang those glow sticks in the um, witch's hats. Not crack them to make them glow, but at least get them hung. That way, tonight, all I gotta get, do is go out there and pop them open and let them glow. So that's on. Don't let me forget to do that. At least by lunchtime, remind me, hey, we gotta go do glow sticks. Okay, she's a great reminder. Um, but yeah, I was trying to. I know I tried getting her to go out. Want me to see if I can kick her? Oh, that would be lovely. Carol Beth is such a big help to Mama. She really is. I'm trying to look through my replies and comments. Um. I just had a new one. Let's see. Oh, and all my new subscribers. Hey, y'all. Hey, on. Good to have y'all. Y'all, we are up to 147. Almost 150. Tell at least three friends. Join the crazy lady. <laughs> that way we'll be at 150. I'm just saying. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see. Hey, Monica. Hey, hon. Yeah, she's like uh, we used to be. She is surrounded by um, cows and mountains and mountains. And we are near Maxwell Air Force Base. So if you hear that, yeah, that's either the fighter jets. Yeah. That's more of a fighter jet. Um, they'll do flyovers. Yeah. Um, or you'll hear the big C-130s. Me and Carol Beth did get the pleasure of... Say, I'm running out of room shoving these t-shirts in. We did get the pleasure of... Um, the other day, we got to see a crop duster. We've got a cotton field on our way to town that we pass. And they'll alternate one year, a couple of years there for a while. We couldn't figure out what they had planted. I ain't never seen nothing like that in all my days. Come to find out, it was sesame seeds. I kid you not. Yeah, I don't know if it was an experiment or... The government paid him to try it, or I don't know, but he grew sesame seeds. Um, he grew wheat. Oh, it's Carol Beth outside walking Foxy. He um, grew wheat, and we didn't know wheat could grow this far south, but he did. He grew wheat. See, here's my gray cami. Yep. I love the gray, y'all. Um, um, but yeah, we were talking about Kaneka Sausage and Harmony. And um, if you ever get a chance to get any kind of like the 
sausage like Polish kielbasa or like a Koneka type sausage like a not really spicy. I can't do the spicy kind. And even though some of the Koneka will say regular or original that's still hot to the mom. Um, and, and Carol Beth will make the comment because they put uh, red pepper flakes in it but it is so good. But um is there. Uh, we're going to have to cut this short before I get done with all my laundry because good lord this would be an hour long video but just me folding this one basket. Sweet hannies. I average about two loads per basket and I just get them all done up and fold them all at one time. Yeah. I had a big folding party but anywho. Um Anyhow, what well, I was going to say about your sausage, take ketchup and brown sugar, I kid you not, um, cook your, brown up your, cut up your sausage and kind of brown it up, get it good and kind of brown and done, and then you're going to take that ketchup and brown sugar mixture, and you want like equal parts, kind of like what you would put over a meatloaf maybe, um, Pour into your pan with your sausage and turn it like medium. You don't want it to burn, burn, but just keep cooking it and stirring until that ketchup and brown sugar is going to get thick and then it is going to caramelize and it is going to stick to that sausage and you kind of want it to burn just a little bit. I'm looking to see. Of that snow all out there with her. I try to watch her while she's on my front yard. And make sure she didn't go to the road. Which she knows. What in the heck? Do you see this? Grown man. Grown man. I have washed wrenches. I have washed hammers. I kid you not. Washed a hammer. And you would have thought I would have heard it. His blow rag. His old snot rag thing. Bless his heart. He needs a new one. Look at that. Mm -hmm. He needs some new ones. He'll get new. That's usually something I get to go in his Christmas box. He will get new handkerchiefs. He's been doing those as handkerchiefs. Um... But yeah, I've washed all kinds of mess. And you wouldn't be knives. Um, honey, a rotin' without a pocket knife ain't a rotin'. They gon' have that pocket knife. I even have one on my purse. I'm just saying. It's a little bitty one, but I got one. You gotta have a knife. Especially when we were on the farm. Um, I can't tell you how many times I went down there to go do like hay or something. And I need to cut the string to the bale. I learned to have a pocket knife. It's just something you had to have. You never knew what you might need to cut. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, one of our, when we had some calves, one of the calves had gotten tangled up. We put up some um, panels to kind of mark them off where they couldn't get all over the pasture. Um, we were bottle feeding them at the time, and so we needed them where we could get easy access to them, and they couldn't wander off the whole pasture. Well, that little joker, I didn't realize, we had the rope that had the panel tied to the fence, to the outside of the fence. Well, that little booger was chewing on that rope. Had it halfway down his throat, bless his heart. And, uh, I don't know if he was sucking on it because he thought it was worth sucking on or what it was doing, but anywho, he'd gotten it wrapped around his foot. So by the time I got out there, needless to say, I had to think quick on my feet because, bless his heart, he was going to break his leg trying to, trying to get away. So, luckily I had that pocket knife on me and I just cut that rope 
but held on to the end that had him. And uh, he was small enough that I could kind of hold him down. And look, we almost made it to the bottom of that basket. Yeehaw. Um, and I was able to pull it out of his throat and uh, get it from around his leg. But from then on, yeah, we didn't do that no more. We used um, tie wire and cut it like, I mean, like right to it. So there was nothing that they could get a hold of. Yeah. Well, all right, I think that might be it for this laundry chat. That was a mouthful for one basket. Now I got this other basket I gotta do. Oh, sweet hennies. And I will be so glad when our weather makes up its mind and I can either do fall and winter or summer. But it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. We can't do that in Alabama. One day it is going to be sweater weather. And then by Christmas we might be back in t-shirts. You just never know. So I'm gonna get this other load folded and I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna do with the rest of our day. Okay, quick laugh. Laundry is folded, even hung up. Bo will put his own away. That's the stuff for him to take, that and the candy. I had to move it. Fox, he sleeps up on our bed sometimes. And I did not want her um, being at the foot of our bed and getting into that chocolate. She's never done anything like that, but... I didn't want to run the risk of that being the time. All right, dark hallway. Yeah, I like how they put one light switch at one end and the other light switch at the other. I don't know, it was just something about that hallway just did. Anywho, hi, sweet girl. Hey, darling. We've gotten to where she will munch on um, dry dog food. Like during the course of the day, she kind of like snacks. And then at night, though, buddy, y'all, like I said, we're just pulling the stew out of her since we're down to just her. Um, Mr. Clarence, our beagle, passed away. And then Miss Cece passed away. And that is just still so fresh in my heart. She was my baby. Everywhere I went, she went. I kid you not. If I was to stop, she'd run up my butt. Um, she was our black and tan Dotson. Um, and because she claimed me, I guess you would say, <laughs> she would never let Foxy get lovings from me. Foxy we originally had first. And then Cece came along and... She knocked Foxy out of the top dog spot. I mean, she just, she let Foxy know, I am here now. <laughs> this is my kingdom. <laughs> so bless Foxy's heart. And Foxy is so just mild and meek and just so sweet. We talked about she would make an awesome therapy dog. In fact... Um, I have a number. We had talked seriously about calling that number. Hey, sorry about the lighting again, y'all. But we had talked about that calling that number and letting her, you know, see what we needed to do to get her seriously qualified as a therapy dog. I know they've got different programs in our area where you can take your therapy dog like to the dog pediatric wing of the hospital or to the nursing homes when Carol Beth was little we actually are the Prattville library had a program and we would take her to that and it was one of the best things in the world we ever did for her um, they had a day where you could bring your kids special needs or not and um, they would have therapy dogs and it was where they could read to the dog because there was no judgment. I mean, that dog wasn't going to judge them if they were 
a slow reader or if they stammered or if they didn't know a word or, you know, it was wonderful. And you could just see every one of those kids, their face just light up. They would let each kid kind of go to a different little bean bag or a different little area. And they had enough dogs and it was just so sweet. And a lot of the kids would pick, like, short books. I mean, you know. Carol Beth would pick chapter books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if there were some other kids that would come later, and they would be kind of, like, waiting on a turn, they couldn't get the dog that Carol Beth had because she was going to read that chapter book. And I would finally tell her, you know what, our time, we need to go. <laughs> Um, I never let her do over like 20 minutes because I just felt bad if a lot of kids were waiting. But, um, and she would make the comment, well, I'm not done with the story. <laughs> no, you can pick it up next time when we come. Yeah. But, um, and the dogs were so sweet. And I know Foxy would be that way. I know she would. Um, she is just... Very sweet, and I was going to say the word docile, but I don't know if that, I don't even know if that would describe her. But anywho, how did I get on that? See, I'll get somewhere, and I don't know how I got there. I will. <laughs> and then I'll look back when I'm editing. I'll look back, and it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't too crazy after all. It's like you're getting there. You're just taking the country scenic route. That's all. I'm trying to. I need to get me a new. Oh yeah. This is what I keep our utensils in, and it used to work great. I loved my little. I have had this thing for I don't know how many years. I mean, a while. But now our utensils have kind of outgrown the spot. I might need two. I don't know. I don't know if I could get two containers up there. It's such a narrow, such a narrow space. I mean, yeah. So, any hazels. I'm going to unload this dishwasher, load this dishwasher. It's a continual cycle, y'all. Do y'all have that? Where right when you immediately unload, you're immediately having to load. Fallon, honey, I thought about you the other night. I had to wash dishes by hand. I can't even remember why. Hey, we had forgot. Well, we didn't forget, but during the course of the weekend, and we didn't cook a whole lot. Things just kept getting piled in there and piled in there and piled in there. It never got turned on. So finally, when it did get turned on, I had a sink full steel. So I wound up, I'm going to put my bowl away. I wound up having to do some by hand. And bless your heart, I can remember when we lived on the farm, I did not have a dishwasher. Honey, we had the worst luck with dishwashers. I kid you not. Um, we just never could get one that would. We would buy it. my mother. Well, not my mother. Who was it that got us one? Because we would always go and get used ones. Or if Bo did a job for somebody, he would usually go and put in new dishwashers for people. And their used ones would be, and we would get the story, oh yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with it. We just wanted to update our kitchen. And sure enough, what nothing wrong with the dishwasher for six months, and then it would go out. Yeah, because it was like 15 years old when they decided to update. <laughs> so their upgrade became our upgrade, you know what I mean? Um... But I thought about you, hon, because I had to do them dishes by hand. And that was one thing I was so excited about when we bought this house. Almost three years ago now. It was two years this past February. Yeah. Or has it been three? Oh, my stars. 
Now I think it's. Oh, I like it as bow. Carol Beth would know. But anywho, I was so excited when it had a dishwasher. Well, yeah, dishwasher. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I can clean out enough crap that y'all can see. See that big black plug right there? All right, that is wired to this dishwasher. The dishwasher is not hardwired in. It is plugged into that outlet. Um, because the house, like I said, was born, uh, it was built in 68. The neighborhood started in 62. They got to this section of the neighborhood in 68. Finally found that one out. Um, so that, you know, yeah. So whenever they did, they took out some cabinets and had, excuse me, had the dishwasher put in. When we had our home inspection, he had made the comment, dishwasher does not work. And I'm like, of course it don't. Why should it? <laughs> Haven't had one so far. I was getting excited about it. I was getting a new house and a dishwasher. Should have known. Well, I kid you not, no sooner than we moved in. Well, no, we hadn't even moved in. But we'd gotten all the... Uh, uh, Lord, I was going to say appliances turned on. We had gotten all, like, the water and the electricity and all that stuff turned on. And, um, he did something. I forgot what it was he did. He did something. But it, and it's been working fine ever since. Um, yeah, yeah. Cross my face. Now I said that, I done jinxed myself. Y'all watch. I guarantee you within the next three weeks, something's going to happen to this. <laughs> I done jinxed myself, y'all. I'm just saying. But, anyhow, Fallon, bless your heart, I know what it's like. I did it for... <sighs> 10, 12 years. Yeah. And bless his heart, he had gotten another guy. I mean, we had had several dishwashers in and out. And I finally told him, uh, the last guy that gave us one, and swore up and down it worked. <laughs> it didn't work. No. I'm looking back on it, though. I'm wondering if it was because we didn't have enough water pressure. Because from where our water meter was, all the way down to where our house was, we were at the end of the five acres. So that water line seriously had to run the length of the five acres. Our five acres ran long and narrow. And it was up a hill, down a hill, kind of back up a little hill. So by the time that water got from the road where the water meter was all the way down to our house at the end of the five acres, there wasn't no water pressure. We didn't know what water pressure was till we moved here and we're like, gee, hannies, you got to do something to turn that down. I'll sandblast your skin. <laughs> and he's like, no, that's true water pressure. And so looking back on it, I'm wondering... And I told him that whenever we moved in and started using this one. I said, I bet you dime to a dozen that it was because there wasn't enough water pressure to run that dishwasher. I'm just saying. I'm just, and he had done everything he could to get the water pressure to build up. Okay, hey y'all. I know, don't let the hair scare you. I could, I could look like Winnie from Hocus Pocus at this point. If you see my Instagram story, you completely understand. I, and tonight, I will do um, our decorations once it's night, and all the lights are lit up. So, yeah, we're, yeah, we're known as that house, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I guess for all those years that we never got to decorate when we were down on the farm, uh-oh, there was never any point and decorating, we never had trick-or-treaters. Ours never got to go trick-or-treating. We would just do pizza night, movie night, and I would buy candy. And one year, we did kind of let them dress up. 
we got them character pajamas. I mean, you know, <laughs> they needed them pajamas anyway. So, like, Brian was Batman pajamas. Um, when I say Carol Beth was Cinderella, Carol Beth had Cinderella pajamas. And Becca had 101 Dalmatian pajamas. Yeah. Yeah. The other time that they did get to, to dress up, they were actually at school. They went to school that one year. And the school had a Halloween festival thing. Brian got to go. Oh, he wanted to be a uh, FBI agent, so we, we just had a blue windbreaker, and I did the yellow felt adhesive letters and put FBI on. <laughs> Back I wanted to be 101 Dalmatian, so we bought a white sweatsuit and a cutout black felt sticky stuff, and did her spots all over. And she had cute little ears and a cute tail. If one person. And a gazillion didn't call her the cutest cow they had ever seen. And she had to keep correcting them. I'm not a cow, I'm a dog. <laughs> Bless her heart. And then Carol Beth, I forgot what she... She might not have dressed up. I'm trying to think. I don't think she did. Anywho, y'all will get to see that tonight. But I did want to hop on here real quick. Y'all know I can't do nothing quick. Oh, there we go. That's much better light, isn't it? I might be better off in the dark, though. Look at my hair. I kid y'all not. I have been sweating like a bandit out there. It is hot. And then, bless my heart, I got caught up. I was trying to put something around our pine tree. Like I said, you'll get to see it tonight. Baby girl was helping me, and I am so glad it was me that got in the fire ant bed, not her. Because, sweet hennies. I need to run like Dickens and Stonk as I was running. Baby girl wouldn't have known what to do. But my ankles are still itching. Don't ever get in fire ants, y'all. I'm just saying. Mm. Anywho, I got to thinking about I want to hop on here real fast. Again, I can't do nothing quick, y'all. And tell you, you know, I bought my little mason jar light diffuser. I don't know if you can see it down there or not. Anyhow, my little light-up thing. I've been wanting a light-up thing to do the wax melts. And I had gotten the pumpkin spice at the tractor supply place. Where I got the little wax light. The mason, it looks like a mason jar. And this was almost $6. And I'm like, okay, I can get some cheaper at Walmart. Y'all, don't think cheaper is better. I'm just saying. These from the tractor supply, I kid you not, are amazing. I only had to put one wax melt in there, and it melted, and it came out perfect once it dried. I was actually able to just pop it out. Still smells divine, and it smelled the whole room. I mean, this is like in the corner near the, near the door, near the entryway. And it made the whole room, I mean, it's like, yeah, it made the whole room smell good from this little corner area. Any hazels, when we were at Walmart the other day, I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to see if I could, because I couldn't find like a good, um, like Christmassy type smell at Tractor Supply other than balsam or pine or whatever it was. Mama don't do no pine. I'm just saying. Mm -mm, no, nothing like a tree. Mm -mm. So at Walmart, Mama found Country Home. The Better Homes and Gardens. Rustic Country Home. And it don't even tell you on here like what it's supposed to smell like. To me, it smells like apple cinnamon. I mean, that's exactly, yeah, it's apple cinnamon all day long. Or like the cinnamon red hots. Have you ever had those cinnamon red hot? Yeah, cinnamon red hots. That's what that is. Anywho, $3, okay? And I get home and I think, oh, okay, that's a good deal. And then I get to looking. 
three dollars and you got six and it was six dollars and you got two four six eight ten you got ten okay but notice big mom only had to use one of the tractor supply ones and it smelt up the whole house big mama had to use two of the walmart kind and you literally still have to sit right here i mean yo honey right up on it to smell it yeah guess who's going back to tractor supply to get some more wax melts i'm just saying or if you know where i can get some more that um are better than the walmart ones let me know i don't know does bath and body work sell them i don't know i've never had a look for them before um the only other little diffuser type things see, i'm going i'm gonna have to make halloween decorations a whole separate video i can see that right now the only other like diffuser thing that I have, I bought this from Walmart, and it, you know, you stick a little liquid in. I loved the crawl shawl. I mean, I just fell in love with it, and it's been so long I can't even. But you see, it still got liquid in it. But I swanny to hennies, I can't smell it. I mean, mm -mm. and it still, I mean, yeah, it still got liquid. I don't remember what kind I bought, but should be smelling better than that. You would think. Now, Carol Beth got a cute one. Carol Beth, can I come in? Sure. Carol Beth got a cute one. Hers, we were talking about our wall diffusers. Hers is a butterfly. See that? And it lights up. Do you still have liquid in yours? Yeah. Okay. And you can still smell yours. <laughs> yeah, they don't smell long, do they? They didn't hold the smell. I can't smell that one in the bathroom no more. That's what we were just talking about. If you know, me and baby girl need to know, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. If you know where we can get a good liquid diffuser that holds the smell. Did I close it good, baby girl? Yeah. I love her door. She's got the cutest decorations on her door. I've had my windows open. We've had to close those because I've had to turn the air back on. I'm just saying, big mama God. Um, I still have not finished putting out Halloween decorations. We're doing all the glow stick stuff. I wanted to wait until um, Halloween. Hey, Foxy. I wanted to wait until Halloween to actually get all the glow sticks out. And the only thing I will have to do right before um, trick-or-treaters kind of start coming is go out and pop all the glow sticks and shake them. Um, so we'll have to do that. And then I'll have Brian go out and actually do, um, yeah, oh, it's bad. <laughs> oh, like I said the other week, I done it up and I did. I look like Winnie from Hocus Focus. I didn't mean to. But, so, as my grandmother would say, i got to get back to my rat killing. Yeah, but if you know of a good wax melts that hold their smell, let me know. And then liquid diffuser, like, you know, you, you saw what I was talking about. They would hold its smell. And again, I don't know if that's something like Bath and Body Works would let me know. Um, now, I got my candles. I always get my three wick candles from Walmart or whenever um, Michaels will have them on sale sometimes, like three for ten. 
Um, and I guess they keep my extra ones. Yeah, I'll keep my extra ones up there. Like, um, Yule Tide Cheers is one. Oh, here was a pumpkin. I didn't know I had that one. I'm trying to remember. I don't know where I got this one from. I didn't. I don't smell like pumpkin pie. I'm just saying. What else do I have up here? Oh, I remember this one. Applewood Bonfire. I got this from Aldi's last year, y'all. Yeah, Huntington Home. That's like the um, brand that our... Um, oh, I forgot I had that one. I think we're going to put our pumpkin spice one up for a little bit. And use my Applewood Bonfire. Yeah. Go check your candle cabinet, y'all. You know you got one. You know, good and darn well, you got a candle cabinet. I'm just saying. The big one like this Applewood Bonfire. I forgot I had that sucker. I'm trying. Ooh. Again. Blow, y'all. I'm just saying. Um... I gotten this one. It was just cute. It looks like a little coffee, coffee mat, coffee cup. Isn't that cute? It's caramel brulee coffee, and I don't think that I've lit it yet. Oh crap! I was gonna try to wait a minute, y'all. There we go. I was going to try to very carefully pull the lid off without causing too much commotion. And if I have, I have not lit it. Oh, that is very coffee smelling. I know who to give this to. I usually try to think of cute little gifts. And I'll pick up things a little long. I got this Dollar Tree. I kid you not. Yeah, you have to dig through and make sure you get one with a good lid. But, um... My infusion, I got from a treatment tomorrow, and my infusion nurse is always so sweet, and she loves candles. She can't light them in her office, but she'll just, she, like this, she'll pop the lid off, and just, it will kind of smell. Um, I'm going to take her this one. She loves coffee. So, yeah, but I'm trying to see what else I got up there. I'm thinking my winter one scared to move too much. Here was the smell I used this summer was the cranberry mandarin was one of them. Oh, that is wonderful. Yeah. Try that. But yeah, I've always had good luck with her candles. I don't know. Again, let me know if you know of a good wax melt and a good liquid diffuser smell. So, I guess that's going to end it for this one because my time, I'm already at an hour and something, y'all. Me and my pie haul. Yeah. So, put on those pearls, put on that smile, and y'all be sweet. And Halloween, I will actually up, we'll do tonight, and I will actually upload, and that will be tomorrow's video. So, yeah, because I can't video while I'm at treatment too much. Um, yeah. So, that will be tomorrow's. So, make sure to hit that red subscribe button. And to all my new viewers, hey, Hoins, how you doing? How's your mama and them? Um, and don't get spooked tonight now. I'm just saying. And don't go do no tricks on folks. And charge your kids a ta candy tax. Yes, ma'am. Charge them a candy tax. Think about whatever your favorite candy is. Mine would be either Hershey's Special Dark. And nobody hands them out. So let's face it, Big Mom ain't gonna get none of them. Just saying. I'll have to buy my own. And none of mine go trick or treating anymore anyway. Care about this is her first year that we've been in the neighborhood that she didn't want to go. But um anywho, charge them a handy tax. Yes, ma'am. You like Reese's peanut butter cup? Guess what, little chicklets? Y'all owe Big Mama all y'all. <laughs> Tell them that. 
Tell them that they owe you that all, all the re or at least 10% of the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I'm just saying. Whatever your favorite candy is, you get out of your child's bag. Part of them anyway. I'm just saying. For you getting a costume, hauling them around, doing everything throughout the year for them. Yes, ma'am, they owe you candy tax. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. It's a thing. And if they don't believe it, let them watch this video. Kids, yeah, let them watch this part right here. All you kids, mm-hmm, you owe your mama candy tax. Big mama said so. <laughs> so, listen to your mama. Whatever kind of candy she wants out of your bag, you've got to cough it up. Get used to taxes now because it's going to be reality once you get grown. So you might as well get used to it now. I'm just saying. <laughs> so y'all put on your pearls, put on that smile, and y'all be sweet. And don't get sick of all that candy. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, y'all.